Yo guys, what's going on? Monday to 6 here back with the 2004 Toyota Sequoia and today we're going to be laying down some paint. We're going to come back here on the hatch and we're going to be painting these pillars here that are sun faded over the years. Very common problem with the Sequoias. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to scuff them up, tape them off and paint it with some of this Rust-Oleum black paint. Going to make them look brand new again. And while I'm at it, my hatch has suffered some sunburn, some sun fading where this clear coat is peeling off. So I'm just gonna run a clean tape line right here, sand this, uh, feather this really nice, take this uh, chipping clear coat off and paint it with some of this Rust-Oleum. So I'll paint that while I'm doing the uh, these pillars right here. Gonna make everything look nice and glossy black again. Hope you guys enjoy. Here we are in the back of the Sequoia. Let's go ahead and take a look at the items we're going to need to paint the rear pillars on the hatch and the rear hatch itself. So first of all, we have Rust-Oleum Black uh, acrylic enamel along with clear coat. We have alcohol to prep the surface when we get ready to paint. We have some blue painter's tape so we can tape everything off. We have some 1500 grit sandpaper, some 2000 grit sandpaper, a red scrubby pad right there we can use to scuff some of the surface. This is everything we need here to paint the rear. Let's get another detailed look here at this pillar. You can see exactly where it's faded and it looks like everybody suffers from the same problem here. This part was shaded by the spoiler so it was not exposed like the rest of the pillar was. You can just see it's uh, sun damaged and uh, both pillars look like this. So hopefully we're going to make them look brand new again. Here's a look at the hatch too. This clear coat's just coming off. You can see here on the top. So this is where I'm going to sand it, feather it right here, get this uh, nice and even right here, and then I can... Getting ready to start taping everything off, just for the rear hatch here. I did take the rear wiper off. That's simply just taking the cover off, or removing this nut, and then just pulling up on the wiper to get this off. But yeah, getting ready to tape everything so I don't sand over and go into the good paint but I'll start taping everything off got a lot of stuff taped off here gonna go ahead and start sanding gonna go ahead and start out with my 1500 grit go ahead and sand everything right here got the pillars and the rear hatch all sanded down gonna go ahead and take my alcohol and clean off all the area that I'm gonna be laying down the paint on got everything sanded looking good it's nice and feathered right here. Got these pillars right here all done. It's all sanded, looking good. Gonna go ahead and tape off the rest of the area that I don't want painted. I'm gonna use some newspaper and some tape, just cover all these areas that I don't want paint on. Ooh, got a lot of taping going on. I have to tape down a couple more pieces of paper, but essentially I have everything taped off so we don't get any overspray on any items we don't want to paint. So I'm going to go ahead and shake the paint up, getting ready to apply our first coat. Getting ready to apply our first coat. Go ahead. Looking good. Just want to go ahead and uh, apply this in nice even coats, nice light coats. Don't get too crazy or else you will have runs and drips just nice and light all the way through. This is already looking so much better. You don't have to look at any more of that peeling clear coat. These pillars look great. They're going to be super shiny once we put our clear coat on it. But not bad for just a first coat. Looking so much better. Getting ready to start the second coat. Got our second coat applied and looking nice and shiny. Getting ready to put the clear coat on. Got that second clear coat on there. And it is super shiny. Looking good. All right, we gave it a little bit of time to tack up. So we can go ahead and we can start removing all the newspaper and tape. Just be careful to make sure you don't hit your paint that you just put on. Here we are at the back of the Sequoia looking at the finished product. 
These pillars look great right here where they were all faded, now one color. And the part of the hatch here that I sectioned off, sanded, and painted looks nice. No more flaky clear coat on there. No more faded look. So this was definitely what I was looking for. Looks awesome. Just brings life back to the Sequoia. I hope this helps everybody out. Seems like everybody suffers from the same problem on the rear of their Sequoia. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, Monday 6, out.